the main expectation is to uh, get a feeling for the pulse of the markets. Mr. Lotak, what are your expectations for this year's Real Vienna? Um, well, the, the main expectation is to uh, get a feeling for the pulse of the markets, you know, meet uh, as many business partners as possible and uh, confirm the perceptions we have and, uh, and hopefully get some positive, uh, positive impulses as well. Which country in Eastern and Central Europe is uh, the most interesting one uh, regarding the real estate market, in your opinion, as an expert from in real estate? Well, we're covering, uh, in my region, we're covering six countries, including Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, actually uh, Austria as well, and Romania. I think uh, what you see clearly is that there is a lot of differentiation now going on within the, within the region. So whereas a few years ago, people would call the CEE and simply consider it one, now uh, people clearly feel there are more markets within that group. I think the flavor of the day is Poland, uh, Czech Republic, I guess everyone uh, saying that. Uh, but uh, I guess a true business opportunity would, for example, be Romania. But uh, for a conservative investor like ING, it's a bit uh, still on the aggressive side. Are there still uh, cities in this region that you would call boom towns? I think within our region, our priority would be secondary cities in Poland. So the Szczecins, the Katowice, etc. So uh, not probably Warsaw, not Prague, but the large secondary cities is, is where we, we would be looking at. Um, how much do you expect the prices to rise in these uh, cities you mentioned? Well... Uh, If you want a specific uh, answer, let me give it to you. I would say 100 basis points in six, seven years. Let us come to uh, the project pipeline you have. What is uh, the most interesting project, in your opinion, you can offer right now at the market? Uh, we're now more than uh, on transactions. We're actually focusing on what we call active asset management. So we are refurbishing uh, assets that we currently own, expanding, upgrading. And uh, for me, the most exciting project, uh, which is now uh, underway, is actually the, the refurbishment and uh, re-letting of a project called Varsava and Junior in a, in a high street uh, or downtown area of Warsaw, where we are re-letting about 11,000 square meters, which is tremendously exciting from the perspective that in a market where generally you feel a lot of doom and gloom, you do find tenants who are actually willing to build new flagship stores in, in Central Europe. So for us, this is very, very exciting and a very strong signal of, of a positive development. Last question. What was the most uh, positive experience you had during the last year regarding the real estate market in Central and Eastern Europe? I think I need to give some credit here to our banking partners because clearly there were situations in which they could have been in relatively strong positions and yet we found a lot of understanding, cooperation and a true effort to look for win-win situations. So, uh, so definitely I work in the finance area and most of the bankers I really uh, give a lot of credit to. So uh, I much appreciated that.